you're never going to. Ain't worth it, man. They ain't worth it to them. They have to pay you too much. Now I can handle the army better. I just two kids. <laughs> you think you can handle the army better than you. <laughs> the army is the greatest thing in the world. You know, I'm a chicken. Sitting there on the bench, waiting on the draft board to get us registered. Just rapping on each other. And I heard all kinds of stories. I got like half an inch of steel. And you go on the bungee sticks, man, and go right through your foot like a shish kebab. It's fat. That ain't what I'm worrying about, it going through. The Germans used to have a grenade. Johnson, Howell, J. Yeah. Didn't fill in. Do you know of any reason why you might not qualify for military service? No, I don't have any reasons. Okay. Next, Theotokopoulos, George. Yeah. Didn't answer other obvious physical characteristics that may aid in identification. No. Uh, What's that? Oh, yeah. American flag, left forearm. Okay. Next, Guthrie Arlo. Okay. For date of birth, you put down Scorpio. I want this specific date. Okay. What's this? Huntington's Korea. Incurable nerve disease. And you have it? Runs in the family. My father has it, and my grandmother had it. It says here, do you know of any reason why you might not qualify for military service? Not your father, not your grandmother. I could get it. But you don't have it now. No. No. You're here from us. Peace. Next, go with Milton. With the draft breathing in my face, I figured I'd get me some of that deferred, preferred, draft exempted, US government inspected education. So I rode my thumb out into the west to an institution of higher learning. Had a nice trip. Got in. Time passed and an old friend of mine drifted into that Montana town. Got a warm welcome from the official local greeting committee. Must have liked his face. Hey, Roger, it's really <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, what's happening? Seen Ray and Alice? Yeah, they told me you were doing time out here. What are they up to? Buying a church. Oh, hey, <laughs> Ray turning religious? They're going to live in it. <laughs> hey, oh. knock it off. Speaking of which, can I crash here tonight? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
We'll get you a room in the morning. I said knock it off. <laughs> Why are the neighbors? Good seeing you. It's good seeing you. would be good enough to tell me just who did write that folk junk you're playing. I wrote it. Me. Well, in that case, Mr. Guthrie. I seem to have this habit of attracting praise like that. I only rented this room to your your friend because you said you were a student. I am a student. What's that funny smell? What funny smell? You Arlo Guthrie? Get that out. Arlo Guthrie? You got a search warrant? Shout out, kid. We'll take ask the off. questions. You guys had better take a nice long leak. Come on, out the door. This is none of your business. You know a kid named Roger Crother? Huh? Kid you were seen talking to yesterday. Me? Who else around has such long, curly locks? Curly locks. <laughs> Who's Ray and Alice Brock, Trinity Church, Housatonic Mass? Your friend left some things behind. He got into some rough stuff with a few of our good citizens last night. We had to put him on the bus. So we thought we'd just drop by and let you know that we're ready to help you, too, anytime you'd like. for a date. Don't rattle her, Jen. Can't you tell she just came from the beauty parlor? Hmm? No. They wouldn't leave it all greasy, filthy like that. They'd have teased you. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, God. habit of getting arrested. Left, 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 right, left. I'm left. American right. education, Mr. Gunn, has left, always dedicated left, itself left, to the encouragement left, of an individual's right, freedom right, of thought and expression. But is punching in the window of a local business establishment an expression of... not break that window, sir. Someone, Mr. Guthrie, pushed in that window. Someone, sir, pushed me out that window. All right. 
I'll take your word for it this time. But I am forced to put you on conduct probation for one month and restrict you. Seems like schools have a habit of dropping out around me. That was on my mind a while ago. It's coming back now. Oh, he that is in you, that is in the world, is bigger than he. Oh, come on, baby. Here, I'm going to take those crutches off your body and your soul. Come on, throw away those crutches. Come here, baby. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I got you. Talk to me. Yeah. Amazing grace. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound. Seems like Woody's Road might have run through here sometime. What about the Army? You're not in college now. I don't know. I know I just couldn't hang in there another second, Mother. Will you be staying here a while? Oh, a kid out there. I got his stuff. I'm going to take it up to Rain Alice. See you, Woody.
It's got a lot worse since I saw him. Well, let's say no better. by the assurance that the presence of God and the consolation of our holy religion are not tied to any one building. We have caused that the altar, hitherto in this church, <coughs> should be carefully removed and protected from desecration. And this fabric, accordingly, is hereby forever secularized and the sentence aforesaid is voided and revoked, and this place, hitherto a holy place, and sacred to the preaching of God's holy word, and the ministration of his holy sacrament, is hereby pronounced secular and unconsecrated, and no longer within our canonical jurisdiction. Yours, much obliged. Thank you. Can we go now? No. changed much. Well, you have. You're getting to be all there. <laughs> I remember when you ran the library at school. We used to come in and take books out just to see you. Well, I didn't mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's this? A card from Roger. He never mailed it. Says he'll be coming through here around Thanksgiving. Hope he's OK. You know, if we'd had a place like this before, he might not have drifted off. Yeah. You'll be here a while, won't you? Well. Oh, just a couple of days. I just thought what I'd bring Roger's stuff a back. Little bit. See how you were. I got some soup on the stove that's going to be really good. <laughs> I'd like to, Alice, but I got to get back to New York. Play some music. See what he's done. Got a gig? No, free stuff mostly. Got to start somewhere. You get first taste. Mm. That's home cooking. Yeah. From my hand to the water's gone forever from the land. It will soon add to the sand I'm going home.
What's this? It's dinner around the house. What about a cheeseburger? Sure, if you want to pay for it. This you get free. Irene. You don't like sweets? Like one or two, but. Three's plenty. Use this. Great. Green, how old are you? Seventeen. Thirteen? Fifteen. Fifteen going on fourteen. Okay. Well, what do you want? I mean, Jesus. I'm no teeny bopper. I already made it with Dick Bogardus of the Raspberry Wristwatch. It's a C-shirt. Sure. And Jack Hennessy of the Unreal. And the drummer of the Democratic Convention. And the Wanderer and lots of other big guys. With concerts and record deals and everything. And I'd like, well, you know, with you. Because you'll probably get to be an album. Keep this. It's a souvenir. Same as if we made it. I just don't want to catch your cold. Sleep with him. All those kids in our bed. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, 
What's wrong with him? What's wrong with him? <laughs> hey, Ray! Oh, jeez. Hey, Ray! Okay. Yeah, okay. Look, I just got a call from the hospital in New York. Shelly's getting out Monday, and somebody ought to go down and get him. How about you? If I don't show up at the garage Monday. You gotta go get him, Ray. I know that kid. He'll be back on the scene. Bellevue? Yeah. She's cool. She owns the place. I just got Shelly here out this morning. I'm going to take him up to the church with Alice and me for a bit. Right. But his landlady's locked up his mobiles. Those things he does are big ones. He went in on a couple of months' rent. You got some bread? Like eight bucks? More like 80. <whistles> Ruth? Thanks, man. You should make it up soon. Alice would like that. We miss you. Yeah, I know. I'll be up. Peace. It's like the old days. People drop in. You give them everything you've got. You're not so unusual. We used to do that. We used to do that, all of us in the movement. Movements. <sighs> Would you believe it? Woody still owes me for a train ticket out of town that I bought him once. I believe it. <laughs> Baby. Girdles feel funny. You don't find me attractive? No, I don't. I don't find you much of a performer either. That's cool. You got it out straight. And so did I. I played out my two weeks, took a pair of hand-tooled boots and four square suits my mother gave me. 
traded them for an amplifier, which I amplified some, and put down as a down payment on a red VW microbus. Got me a Trinity Racing Association triangle from Ray and stuck it on the door. Now if I can just get me a couple of hit records, I'll be all bailed out. Hey, man, how you doing? Where is everybody? Building Ellis a restaurant. You're putting me on. No, man. Here in the church? No, over in Stockbridge, behind the store. You all alone? No, Jake's sleeping over there. Jake? He's out of the army? He's sleeping. Hey, Jake. It's me, Arlo. Hey. Hey. What's that? Just what it looks like. That's what I've always wanted. A restaurant? No, a friend with a restaurant. Well, anytime, baby. For our kids, it's on the house, right, Ray? <laughs> you better believe it. It's a shame I'm not heavy on hammer and saw. Maybe you could write us a singing commercial. <laughs> <laughs> I could do that. You can get anything you want at Alice's restaurant. You can get anything you want at Alice's Restaurant. Walk right in, it's around the back, just a half a mile from the railroad track. That's right. Tonight, Alice Brox opens the back room, her new restaurant in Stockbridge, with such international gourmet dishes as beef bourguignon, 
Costaletis Pojarski, Spaghetti a la Marciana, and mm, many others. All at Alice's back room opening tonight. Hey, everybody. Dessert on the house. Oh. Arlo. You cut it, Arlo. Here, you do it, man. <laughs> yeah, do it, baby. Hey, Sloppy Joe. Huh? <laughs> hey, baby, wait. Hey, hey. Wait, Shell, I'll come with you. I've... Don't crowd him. He needs to get his head. Chief? Eat me? Well, I suppose so. I'll never tell. <laughs> hey, May, get us some plate. I said I had a girl for you. She seems to dig Ray. Yeah, she digs Ray a lot. He's sort of been helping her some. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I happen to dig botany. I happen to dig music. But they didn't know anything about it. Maybe you should have gone to a better school. Hey, what's that all about? It's an ancient custom of the matter. The Lord and Lady ring the bell after they make it. Gotcha. Well, you're going to make your move, aren't you? Yeah, I could do that.
was weird the way you hit that puddle, Ray. Good pull out. Get your hand off the bike. Hey, Ray! Hey, Ray! Hey, what's up, Ray? Ladies and gentlemen, I thought you'd all like to know we're recording all the troopers today in honor of all the boys over in Vietnam and other foreign places who are defending this great country of home. We can't leave now, while they're out there helping out the free world. Think I was out here shooting up? <laughs> I'm getting Ray's bike back together for the race Sunday. Do you still want to? Want to what? Shoot up. That's over, Alice. It's over. I'll never go back on. Never. Hey, Ray, give me something to eat, will you? Hey, hey, Alice, come on out of there. Hey. Yeah. It's gonna look good up there. Come on, Alice, I'm gonna take you swimming. With all these people for lunch. Oh, hell, let them all go into the kitchen and help themselves. I'm not running a cafeteria. That damn girl didn't show up today, and I have to do it all myself. Hey, you're letting this place teach you up, baby. Come on, Shell. Uh, maybe I should stay and wash dishes. Aw, oh, can't he go for a little swim, huh? Why ask me? You want to go swimming? Go swimming. Go on, get out of here. Both of you. Go on, out! Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we go on. <laughs> hey, what happened to my food? 
86 on the food. Wow, well, it's too cold. Why don't we go back to the church? <laughs> He'll come through, okay? I don't know. Maybe this is it. She wouldn't have called if it wasn't serious. Maybe we should come with you. No, thanks. What is it? A black cancer? Huntington's Korea. Oh, a war wound, huh? It's not, it's not that kind of Korea. It's uh, Huntington's disease. Tax and t tax and ner nervous system. There's no cure for it. How do you get it, Karen? For God's sake! It's hereditary. Why don't you hey, get hey, lost? Hey. Easy. Now don't you worry about that. Stay cool, man. Stay cool. I've worked in your orchards of peaches and prunes. Slept on the ground neath the light of the moon on the edge of How's he doing? He was getting worse, but now he seems fine again. We just don't know what to expect or when. The wind. California, Arizona, I make all your crops. Then it's up north to Oregon to gather your hops. Dig the beets from your ground, cut the grapes from your vine to put on your table that light sparkling wine. It's always we ramble that river and I. All along your green valley, I'll live till I die. My land I'll defend with my life if it be, for my pastures of plenty must always be free. Play the one about the car. Break out guitar, let me see. <laughs> Don't know if it's the right tune, try. <laughs> Let's go riding in the car, car. Let's go riding in the car, car. Let's go riding in the car, car. Let's go riding in the car. You blow the horn. I'm gonna let you blow the horn. Oora, oora, oora. Let's go riding in the car. Let's go riding in the car, car. Let's go riding in the car, car. Let's go riding in the car, car. Let's go riding in the car. Francois. <laughs> 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 
Okay, you clowns. Get out of this kitchen. Another hey. taste for the swab. <laughs> it took the roof off my mouth. Hey, you've been screwing around with my chili. Screwing around? No, oh, madam, I hey. expected it with just that pinch of spice required. Who hey. <laughs> brings tears of ecstasy? That's <laughs> why. Put it on me. you two got going, but as you know, I don't need it. I've had it. Yeah, what the hell? Well, that's really horse I've had right? it with you two by the hey. And you crummy, tight-ass townies. I've had it. And I'll tell you something. Crazy ladies. <laughs> now you got one more. I was headed up to the church. Go. Hey, what's the matter? I guess I'm the bitch at too many pubs. Couldn't take them all milking me. You got, you got anything to smoke? You want to? So do you. Mm. I was scared maybe those cops out there busted you up. Yeah, they beat on me some. Roger? Hey, Hi. baby. You didn't even let us know where you were. Is that any way to be, huh? I have the time. <laughs> Hello, Alice. Hello, Ray. I looked everywhere for you. Then we heard Arlo was borrowing this pack. Thing goes in Rome, some kind of foundation bread. I don't know. You been here since you left? No, I've been hanging out some. I got here last night. 
You know, chasing around after you, I ran into all sorts of people we used to know. Oh, yeah? I invited them up to the church for Thanksgiving. Oh, no. And Roger's being back. No, Ray. You're putting me on. Just a few kids. Oh. For Thanksgiving. Hey, uh, Alice. It won't be like before. I promise. Okay. Hey, Arlo, what happened when you saw Woody? How is he? The same. Worse. Well, you make it up for Thanksgiving, won't you? Oh, yeah. We'll be there. Oh. <laughs> I want to tell you, man, Alice is a groovy cook. We all got up there on anything that moved. I guess Ray didn't invite so few kids after all. Water. That thing is there cool. Yeah, but he ain't. I was bringing Ray and Alice a small present for Thanksgiving.
had a Thanksgiving dinner that couldn't be beat and ended up with an amazing pile of garbage. And we decided that it would be a friendly gesture for us to take the garbage down to the town dump. So we took the half a ton of garbage and put it in the back of a red VW microbus, took shovels and rakes and other implements of destruction, and we headed off toward the town dump. But when we got to the town dump, we had never heard of a dump closed on Thanksgiving before. And with tears in our eyes, we drove off looking for another place to put the garbage. We didn't find one until we came to a side road. And off of the side of the side road was a 15-foot cliff. And at the bottom of the cliff was another pile of garbage. And we decided that one big pile was better than two little ones. Rather than bring that one up, we decided to throw ours down. That's what we did. <laughs> drove off into the sunset. Sure was nice of you to cook that delicious Thanksgiving feasty. Oh, well, sure was nice of you to have the idea of dumping all that garbage. <laughs> hey, you're both nice, but what's for dinner? Oh, you... Hello? Yeah, just a minute. Who is it? Officer Obi. Hello. Kid, we found your name on an envelope at the bottom of a half a ton of garbage. We just want to know if you had any information about it. Well, yes, sir, Officer Obi. I cannot tell a lie. I put that envelope under that garbage. Well. Yeah. Yeah. After speaking to Obi for about 45 minutes on the telephone, uh -huh. We finally arrived at the truth of the matter. Yep. All right. He said we had to go down and pick up the garbage, and also had to go down and speak to him at the police officer's station. Now, friends, there was only one or two things that Obi could have done at the police officer's station. Maybe he'll give us a medal for being so brave and honest on the telephone. I think I'll probably just fall us out or something. But when we got to the police officer station, there was a third possibility that we hadn't even counted upon. Both under arrest. <laughs> oh, you can't, you can't pick up the garbage with these handcuffs on. Shut up, kid, and get in the back of the patrol car. That's what we did. Sat in the back of the patrol car and drove to the, quote, scene of the crime, unquote. I want to tell you about the town of Stockbridge, Massachusetts, where this was happening here. They got three stop signs, two police officers, and one police car. But when we got to the scene of the crime, there was five police officers and three police cars being the biggest crime of the last 50 years, and everybody wanted to get in a newspaper story about it. And they was using up all kinds of cop equipment that they had hanging around the police officer station. They was taking plaster tire tracks, footprints, dogs, smelling prints. And they took 27 8 by 10 colored glossy photographs with circles and arrows and a paragraph on the back of each one, explaining what each one was to be used as evidence against us. They took pictures of the approach, getaway, southwest corner and the northwest corner. And that's not to mention the aerial photography. <laughs> Take off those handcuffs.
up. You're interfering with the performance of my duty. You're a meathead. Haven't you planted a cop enough for one day? This site is reserved for officers of the law and criminals. Pig eyed idiot. Alice, I've had enough garbage for one day. Yours and theirs. Stupid bastard. Alice. Cradle hopper. Uh, Alice. Turkey raper. Alice, bad mouth of me is not going to get them off. Just pay the bail. Bail? Yes, bail. A bunch of wallets in your belts. Put everything on the desk. I can understand you want more wallets so we don't have any money to spend in the cell, but what do you want our belts for? Kid, we don't want any hanging. Obi, do you think we're going to hang ourselves for littering? What you want now, Obi, our teeth? Obi said he was making sure, and friends, Obi was. Cause he took out the toilet seat so we couldn't hit ourselves over the head and drown. And he took out the toilet paper so we couldn't bend the bars, roll the toilet paper out the window, slide down the roll, and have an escape and get away. Obi was making sure. Hey, Obi, when do we get our bread and water? Shut up, kid. You may bring the bags down now. You're free! Hey, man, we want a little respect for law and order around here. I mean, justice! You're the only one I dreamed of the whole time I was in. Smell like cop toilets. Oh, hey, I'll wait out here with you. Will you just leave me alone? Okay. Okay, uh, baby. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. All persons having anything to do before the Honorable Justice of the District Court of Lee, James E. Hannon, now sitting at Lee, within and for the county of Berkshire, draw near, give your attendance, and you shall be heard. God save the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. You may be seated. Roger Prather and Arlo Guthrie, you will stand and face the court. You were charged with illegal disposal of garbage. How do you plead? We cannot tell a lie. Your Honor, we're guilty. I sentence each of you to pay a fine of $25, and you will remove the garbage. Noby looked at the CNI dog, and then at the 27 8 by 10 colored glossy photographs with the circles and arrows and a paragraph on the back of each one, and began to cry. Because Obi came to the realization that it was a typical case of American blind justice, and there wasn't nothing he could do about it. Now that we've paid our debt to society, Officer Obi, what do you suggest we do with the evidence? I don't give a damn, kid, as long as you don't dump it anywhere around here. I'm going to escort you to the town line. Now, get going. Got to pick up my check. Yeah, it figures. Hey, come on. 
come on. I'm getting rid out of town by the vigilantes, and I told him I had to pick up my girl. Am I your girl? I guess you better be. Ah, oh, Edith. I'm going to get the house. I'm going to get the house. I'm going What did he say? He said he plays my part. That's what I thought he said. With all this garbage? Why can't we take it to the town ghost? I told you, he's riding us out of town. Sure doesn't look that way. Where can we dump it then? I think I know. New York's a nice place to visit, but I wouldn't want to. Letters been following you around some. Hey, what day is today? The eighth. Then my army physical is tomorrow. Tomorrow? It's eight a.m. Whitehall Street. Oh, you just might be selected to defend our country. Yeah. That's weird. They'll never take anyone as crazy as you. <laughs> they got a building down in New York City called Whitehall Street where you get injected, inspected, detected, infected, neglected, and selected. Hey, kid, where's your papers we sent you through the mail? Didn't say anything on it to bring it. Oh, what's your name? And I proceeded on down the hall, getting more injections, inspections, infections, neglections, and all kinds of stuff that they were doing to me at the thing there. And I was there for two hours, three hours, four hours. I was there for a long time, going through all kinds of mean, nasty, ugly talk. things. And I was just having a tough Turn time, and they was inspecting, injecting every Turn single part of me. <coughs> and they was leaving no parts untouched. Turn your head and cough. <coughs> Turn your head and cough. <coughs> Turn your head and cough. Turn your hat and cough. <coughs> Turn your head and cough. <coughs> Thank you. 
That ain't enough. That's all I had. Ain't enough. Get back in there and do some more. But that's an order. Hey, anybody got any to spare? And I proceeded on through, and I finally came to see the very last man. I walked in, I walked up, I said, what do you want to see me about? He said, see the shrink. I went up there, I said, shrink, I want to kill, I want to kill, I want to see blood and gore and guts and veins in my teeth, eat dead, burnt bodies, I mean kill, and I started jumping up and down, yelling, kill, kill, and he started jumping up and down with me, with both jumping up and down, yelling, kill, 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 and I proceeded to tell him the story of the Alice's Restaurant Massacre with full orchestration, five-part harmony, stuff like that, of the phenomenon. He stopped me right there, he said, Kid, have you ever been in court? And I proceeded to tell him the story of the 27 8 by 10 colored glossy pictures with the circles and arrows and a paragraph on the back of each one, explaining what each one meant. He stopped me again, he said, Kid? I want you to go in there and sit down on a bench that says Group W. And I walk, I walked over to, to the bench there, and there is Group Group W is where they where they put you if you may not be moral enough to. Join the army after committing your special crime. And there was all kinds of mean, nasty, ugly looking people on the bench there. There was mother rapers, father stabbers, father rapers, father rapers sitting there right on the bench next to me. And they was mean and nasty and ugly and horrible and crime fighting guys sitting there on the bench next to me. And the meanest, ugliest, nastiest one, the meanest father raper of them all. I mean, he was mean and nasty and ugly and horrible and all kinds of stuff. And he said, kid. What'd you get? I didn't get nothing. I had to pay $50 and pick up the garbage. What were you arrested for, kid? Uh, Littering. <laughs> and, cre and creating a nuisance. Yeah. How long you been up? Well, a few hours. <laughs> we had a great time on the bench talking about crime, mother stabbing, father raping, all kinds of groovy stuff we was talking about on the bench there until... talked for 45 minutes and nobody understood a word that he said but we had fun filling out the forms and playing with the pencils on the bench there and I turned over the piece of paper and there on the other side read the following words kid have you rehabilitated yourself sergeant you got a lot of goddamn gall to ask me if I've rehabilitated myself I mean I mean, I mean, I'm sitting here on the Group W bench because you, because because you want to know if I'm moral enough to join the army, burn women, kids, houses, children, and villages after being a litter bug. Kid, we don't like your kind. We're gonna send your fingerprints off to Washington. <laughs> Sorry, man. I gotta go see Woody.
I don't know what I'd have done if they'd have taken me. Maybe... Maybe I wouldn't have had the guts to go to jail. Yeah. I could have done that. It's weird. Good things in my life always seem to come out of not doing what I don't want to do. Now that they're not after me to do what I don't want to do, what do I want to do? May take me some hard traveling to find that out for my own self. Bitch, what the hell do you think you're doing? Yeah. Want to get these cuffs off? If he comes busting up the town again, I'm going to bust him. I got the whole book on him. Possession, pushing, the whole rap. Mm -hmm. So keep him down here on the freak farm where he belongs. You understand? <laughs> I put my nut act on, on for Obi when he stopped the car, yeah, huh? Sure. <laughs> Made him forget all about locking me up. You. <laughs> I knew they'd bring me back here. <laughs> Alice, can I have a Coke? Where'd you get it? Get what? The big fix you're flying on! Where'd you get it? I'm off, remember? Absolutely off. Absolutely off. I kicked it. I beat it. Please, please, baby. Don't get back on. Alice. My gosh, Shelly! I swear, I'm not on. I had... I had two stiff pockets. We found your spike shell. Yeah. And your cooker. <sighs> That's not mine. You promise. You promise. You promise, Shell. You promised. You promised. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a lot of promises been made. They're out here. Uh, Where's the rest of it? Where do you keep it? Oh, I had. Damn it. No, Ray! Where do you keep it? Huh? Ray, no! Don't! Kelly, I'm Ray. gonna ask you one more time. Don't stop! Where do you keep it? 
church. Where are you? If you read it like that. That's the way I read it. How was Woody at the end? I don't know. I, wa I wasn't around. Please, I told you I wasn't around. I can't tell you how sorry we all are. Amen. No, not now. Please, not now. Thanks. I'm sorry I didn't make it, Mother. I guess I should have hung around. It's all right, baby. You could have known. Surprised me, too. Fifteen years. Marjorie, all of his friends are going to want to know, when's the funeral? It's not going to be one. Woody didn't want a funeral. No funeral. When we're all together, we'll take his ashes out to Coney Island. Here I'd missed seeing Woody one more time. And Shelley was buried before I ever made it back up there. Through the windless wells of wonder by the throbbing light machine in a tea leaf trance or under orders from the king and queen. Songs to aging children call children I am one people
people hurry by so quickly don't they hear the melodies in the whining and the clicking and the laughing harmonies songs to aging children come Some come dark and strange like dying Crows and ravens whistling Lines of weeping, strings of crying So much said in listening Songs to aging children come Aging children Does the moon play only silver when it strums the galaxies? Dying roses, will they will their perfumed rhapsodies to me? Songs to aging children come. This is Maybe I pushed him. Maybe me leaning on him like that pushed him into overdose. It's sort of sad to think of him riding all the way down there alone. Right in that flop house room. Beauty wasn't coming through to him. Maybe we haven't been so beautiful lately. Nothing to stop us from starting out fresh. Maybe we could get married again. <laughs> Real wind. Not like our two-minute special down there at the courthouse. Real wind. <laughs> Lots of singing and flowers. A real church wind. We got a church. <laughs> All that smoke. Doc, 
colors. So it sets you adrift. Let's you know your life is going by. All of a sudden, I feel in a hurry to find out what my thing's gonna be. Who and where. Do you take this man to be your lawful loving man? For bad or for better, for drunk or for sober, for high or for lower, <laughs> for husband and lover, today and tomorrow, till death do you part. I do. Ray, do you take this woman to be your ever wedded woman for bitchy and giving, for love and for living, in peace and dissension, in health and affliction, today and tomorrow, till death do you part. I do. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. Yeah.
with the music, huh? What? We need sound, huh? Hey. Hey, what? Hey. Huh? Here's a toast to the marriage of Alice and Ray, for whom we are here assembled today, and to reconsecrate the church. Oh, yeah. Reconsecrate, huh? Reconsecrate. Oh, yeah, we're, we're really going to lift her up. We're going to get a great big old plastic bag, and we're going to fill it up with helium. And float right up to heaven. Yeah. We're gonna throw flowers down to the people below, and they're gonna know that there's some happiness left somewhere. <laughs> we gotta get higher and higher. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's where it's at. Up there. Up there. Uh, that's where it's at. That's where it's at. Come on, let's get up there. Up, up there. Yeah, it's up there. It's up there. I got something to tell you, man. I've been thinking about selling the church. First you're flying it, now you're selling it. Oh. Uh, I'm serious, Alice. I bet we could get enough for it with all the improvements I've put in to get us all a couple of hundred acres up in Vermont. And get us some of that land. Land we can farm, land that'll feed us. There ain't enough land around here. We gotta have room to stretch out. I bet... I bet what happened to Shelley never would have happened. <laughs> huh? Amen! Everybody could have his own house. We could all see each other when we wanted to and not see each other. But be all there. Arlo! Arlo, come on, stay tonight. See you later, Ray. All those kids gone. Who had not to be gone? Yeah. Now Shelly did. You know I'll be back, man. Later. I wish we had him back. If we'd had a real place, we'd all still been together. Without bugging each other. We'd all be some kind of family. Can get anything you want at Alice's 
Thank <laughs> you.